Okay, guys, welcome to the channel once again. It's your boy Bravo. As you may have noticed in the video I posted earlier, the short video about Kubernetes 3.3, you did see me mention MediaLearn and Maki protocol in there. So, right in front of me, what I have is this controller, the Nano Control 2, right? Cubasis now, obviously, I said, come with Maki uh, protocol, and this controller supports uh, the Maki and HUI protocol. When you're connecting this controller to Cubasis the first time, you need to set it in Cubase mode. And you just need to do this once, because obviously, for it to work correctly with Maki protocol in Cubasis, you need to set that in Cubase mode. So to do that, you tap on this button that says set. So you tap on set and hold previous together and then connect the wire, right? So this is gonna just, just for a couple of seconds and then leave it. Now, in Cubasis, what you need to do is go into settings, go to MIDI and go to Maki protocol. So you tap on that and this is gonna show you all your Maki or hardware controllers that you have connected to Cubasis. So in this case, I'm going to choose the first one, which is Nano Control Slide Knob. If you enable this, this allows you to control Cubasis with the hardware controller. And then if you come down, you see there's another um, one for Nano Control, which is um, the Send Remote. So this is Receive Remote, and this is Send Remote. So basically, if you have uh, Maki controllers that are motorized with the Send Remote, obviously, whatever you move in Cubasis also moves on the hardware. But unfortunately, this doesn't come with motorized um, faders. But in the next video, I will show you how it works with the motorized faders, right? That is with the um, Personas fader port 16. Anyway, so like I said earlier, this is for receive remotes and send remotes, right? So once you've chosen that, you just close that, you close settings. And now, if we go into Cubasis, if I move this, as you can see, track number one is moving. Track number two, the same, three, the same. And I don't need to MIDI map anything. So everything is working off the Maki UI protocol. Now, obviously, your play button is working. Your stop, your record is working. Uh, your next previous, and obviously your pan, everything is working as it should. So when you have a small controller like this, working in a big section is kind of like a bit, um, a bit hard. But fortunately, this controller comes with a feature it comes with a feature which lets you control each track at a time. So with this button right here that says track, right? Right now I'm controlling track number one to track number eight, right? So if I tap on next, right here, this track right here, as you can see, now I'm controlling track number nine, number nine with uh, the fader number one and so forth. So track number two, fader number two is controlling 10 and 11 and so forth, right? So, um, Someone might ask, but if it's not motorized, then it's going to be hard because obviously you might kind of like, let's say I'm jumping from track number nine to track number one. I might mess up the mix, right? But Cubasis come with something um, important, which is called catch-up mode. So basically, as you can see, I'm moving fader number one, but track number one is still, it's not moving. So until the fader catches up with value, catches up with um, what is in Cubasis, Cubase's fader is not going to move, so have a look. So until I get down, that's when I can move it. Same thing, track number two, until I get down, that's when I can move it. Now, for example, let's say I have track number nine, this track's this way, right? And I have track number one and two slightly this way. If I move back to track number nine, have a look, moving the fader, Track number nine doesn't move until I reach to, you see that, until I reach Cubasis. Same thing, track number 10, so fader number two, moving, it doesn't move the track until I get to that value of Cubasis. Okay, so yeah, that makes it easy to kind of like work with small controllers. And in the next video, like I said, I'm going to show you how it works with a bigger one, which, is, which uh, has motorized faders. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned, guys. Have a nice one.